Hello there. Well, just doing a quick video. Um, I've been having some issues recently with the Centauri Carbon. It doesn't seem to be pulling the filament through the hot end. Uh, so I'm just literally stripping it down now to see if I can actually diagnose the problem and get it sorted out. So yeah, if you're having the same problem, hopefully I can find out the reason why. And hopefully this video will be helpful to you. So the first thing I've done is there are four hex screws uh, located, one here, one there, and the same on uh, the other side. What can we see there? I've, I've removed them screws using um, a small hex key and the front can just be lifted off like so. There is a cable right there um so very very careful not to pull that obviously that's that's what controls the fan and it's looks quite flimsy so i'm going to take that off now so that just pulls out like so a little pit four pin there pulls out the bottom of there so we'll move that to one side for now because that's definitely not where the problem is and see a few screws here um we've got one there one there one there and uh, i think i can see two here as well so we're going to check them out so this is the current situation we've got quite a few screws come out there from the front face but then i did notice there is a sneaky little silver screw right in there and also uh, it's looking like we're going to have to take the actual hot end out as well so let's crack on with that so yeah as i guessed the hot end does need to come apart as soon as i released these two silver screws here the whole thing moved away so we can actually see inside the print head now sorry inside the tool head now beware of the two cables that are coming out at the bottom there uh, a black one and a white one they need to be pulled out before you can remove the whole thing i've taken apart the front end of the tool head and as you can see here this is where the boarding tube comes in I've took the boarding tube out. You can see there that this is where the filament would come in. There's a small razor blade in there. I don't know if you can see it uh, or something. I'm not sure what it is. It's a little cog there that obviously pushes the filament through into this area here. Uh, and then that pushes it down into your nozzle through there. I am suspecting I have a piece of filament stuck right in there, some yellow filament that I was using, some PLA. Uh, so let me see if I can get that unclogged. Oh, the irony. So I've used one of these bamboo lab hex keys, a very fine one. I've took the actual hot end off now. And as you can see under there, where the razor blade cutter is, I've just popped that in there and pushed it up and look what's come out. Uh, some yellow PLA that's obviously dried or it, I don't even think because it's obviously not hot at that point when it's coming through there. I can only imagine with wear and tear that's just bits of PLA that have come off and it's managed to sit itself in there and stopped, you know, future filament coming through. So hopefully this is the answer. Just try and give this a push through here from the boarding end. As you can see, the whole thing goes through now. So really, we shouldn't have any obstructions. So I'm going to put this thing back together now. So when putting it back together, I was getting a few issues trying to get the thing fitted back on um, because of the cogs inside. But then I noticed on, on the side here, there's a little cog that you can turn. So if you just give that a bit of a turn, then that'll turn the teeth inside, which then makes it slot in nice and easy. Another quick tip as well is remove the actual... Um, plate from your from from the build plate itself and then if any of these small screws do drop because this is magnetic it keeps hold of them for you there we have it gang all back together now going to stick it through a quick calibration and we'll see if that has fixed our problem so here's the moment of truth i heat the nozzle right up got some filament in let's have a look and see if it works shall we And there we go. We are a go. Thank God for that.
So I hope this has helped someone out there if you're having the same issues as I was. It takes about 10 minutes. You only need a couple of hex keys and you're aware. It took longer, to be honest, to recalibrate the printer than it did to actually pull the thing apart. If this has helped anyone, then please, please give me a thumbs up on the video. And why not think about subscribing too, because there'll be more content coming. Cheers.